Mass Channel. I'm going to go over now the June 2024 R paper, which is like the replacement paper for um, the Edexcel International A level pure mathematics P2. And I'm going to go through this paper. I'm not going to just do this in one one whole video. I'm going to take each question as a separate video and I'm going to save the videos as um, in the playlist for the paper and also a playlist for the topic. Um, so this is going to be like uh, used as a teaching tool for me to explain the topics uh, to students, especially those who have had a problem, you know, during the course to help them understand the topics better. And it's like, it's a way for me to help my, on my own students and anyone else who cares to benefit. Um, you know, it's not meant to be just like reading through the mark scheme. I'm going to try to maybe explain some topics in some detail, depending on the type of questions that I have in my mind that students have asked me. So let's start with the first question. It says the sequence U1, U2, U3 satisfies this. This is called a recurrence formula. So un plus 2 equals 3 times un plus 1 minus 2 times un. Where un1 equals 7 and u3 equals 4, find the value of u2. So this is a type of sequence which is a bit um, alien to students straight when they first come across it. But it's something that really, it's, it's perfectly logical and fine. You don't have to worry too much. It's not that difficult. Basically, what this type of sequence requires you to have the two terms before the, se the, the term you're trying to find. So they're saying that the term two, two, like you have a term here and you have a term here and you have a term here. This term depends on these two terms. So um, un plus two equals three times un plus one. So basically this is the term before this term. So this term here is equal to three times the term before it minus two times the term before that. So for example here, you'd have to have the first two terms to find the third term. So the third term, would be equal to three times the second term minus two times the first term. That's what that means. Okay, so if you want to find if you want to find the second term and you know the first and the third term, you can just use this formula. So u3 equals three times u2 minus two times u1. Well, we know u1 is seven and u3 is four. So this is four. We have to find this. We don't know what u2 is. And u1 is seven. So that's two times seven. So you have 4 equals 3 times u2 minus 14. Add 14 to both sides. You have 18. So 3 times u2 equals 18. Divide both sides by 3. So we can say u2 is equal to 18 over 3, which is 6. So that's u2. All right, simple as that. Okay, so now for part B, it says find, and this sigma, this sign, this sigma means the sum of Okay, all of the expressions given by ur plus 2r from 1 to 4. Okay, so basically when r equals 1, what we want to go to this is going to be equal to ur is when r equals 1, ur, u1 would be 7. Okay, so this is basically saying um, u1 plus 2 times 1. Okay, that's, that's when r equals 1, that's what it's going to equal. Plus, and when r equals 2, this would be u2 plus 2 times 2. And when r equals 3, you'll have u3 plus 2 times 3. And when r equals 4, and that's where we stop, you'll have u4 plus 2 times 4. Now, what is u1? Well, u1 is this term here, which is 7. So that's 7 plus 2 plus... Then you have u2, which is 6, 6 plus 4, plus, and then you have u3, which is 4, so you have 4 plus 6, and then you have u4. Now, we've got to find what u4 is. Okay, so we've got to find what u4 is, so I'll do that on the side here. So we can say u4 is equal to 3 times u3 minus 2 times u2. So u3 is 4, so that's 3 times 4 minus 2 times 6. Okay, that's going to be 12 minus 12, which is 0. So u4 is equal to 0. So this is u, This is going to be plus 0 plus 8. u4 plus 8. Okay, 
So now we can work out this is this is 9 plus 10 plus another 10 plus 8. That's going to be 29 plus 8, which is 37. So there's the answer to part B. It's a bit of a strange one. A lot of students wouldn't know what to do. They'll, what does this mean? It's very simple. It's logic. U1 is the first term. U2 is the second term. So here we have a sequence here. But this sequence that is generated is not a sequence that you can use a formula for. Some people try to say, okay, let's use the arithmetic sequence formula or the geometric sequence formula. But you cannot do that unless this itself is a geometric sequence. And they're only asking you for the first four terms. So you just find what they are and add them together. If it says R equals 1 to 25, for example, then you would expect it comes out as a type of sequence that you can work out. Either it's a geometric or arithmetic, or it's got some sort of uh, repetition that happens with the terms, so you can work out what they are. But when you see this only ask you for the sum of a few terms, like four or three terms, then in general, that will be something like this, where there's no pattern that you can detect easily. And then you just simply just find each term and add them together. Okay, sigma means sum of, and you have to generate every term of the sequence. There's four terms that they want out of this, of this sum, and you generate them manually like that. So U1 is the first term, U2 is the second term, U3 is the third term of what we had up here. Okay, this recurrence relationship. And R is just like the number that, had, that you have to substitute in here. So for the first term, R would be 1. Second term, we'd put R equals 2 into here. Third term, and so on. So that's how we answer this question. And that completes question number one from this uh, question here, which is all about series and sequences. And this is specifically about recurrence relationships. Okay, um, so other questions from this particular chapter or from this particular paper can be found in the playlist on the top right of the screen at the end of the video. Other questions from this topic of recurrence relationships you can find in the bottom right here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and the link over here will take you to a, um, a video which explains how to use the channel effectively. Thank you for watching and see you soon.